Hello, this is the daily message from Chatsworth Baptist Church for Friday the 11th of September, or whenever you happen to hear it. During this period of lockdown, when we have not been able to worship in our own church buildings as we normally do, and when even outsiders will have noticed that Christians are no longer able to meet in their churches, a text came to mind that some of you might know from 1 Kings chapter 8. 1 Kings chapter 8 and the preceding verses, chapters, tell us how King Solomon built a beautiful temple for the Lord God. King Solomon spared no cost, no effort, precious wood, much gold, all kinds of nice cloth was used to build a very beautiful temple for the God of Israel. And then Solomon comes to dedicate the temple. There's this official opening of the temple. And then King Solomon lives up to the reputation that he has for being a wise king. Because he asks, will God really dwell on earth? The heavens, even the highest heaven, can't contain you. How much less the temple that I have built. Solomon is aware that this beautiful temple cannot contain God. This tells us, if we reflect on it, that our church buildings can't contain God. They don't contain God. They never could. God is too big for a building. God is not restricted by a building. In this period, that's a good thought for us. That's a blessing to us. God is not limited to a church building. God's presence is everywhere in the world. Which means that on Sunday mornings, we can worship God in our houses. On other days of the week, we can worship God, we can be in contact with God, wherever we are. And that's true for all of us, of course. We can be in contact with God at any moment in time, in any place. And that's great. Now, of course, as Christians, we still miss our church building. We still miss the fellowship with other people, because that's what the building facilitates. The building facilitates meeting. It's not important in itself. In uh, summertime, we could easily meet in a park and have fellowship there, or in a private garden, or, or anywhere. God is not contained by our buildings. We shouldn't call, call our buildings sanctuaries for that reason alone. It's not where God lives, it's where we meet one another. And it facilitates our meeting with God. But God is not limited to that. So let's continue to meet with God wherever we are. Every day of the week. And let's continue to pray that soon we will all be together again. To worship Him together. Because being together is much nicer than alone. But God is not limited by that. So we pray, Heavenly Father, we thank you for preserving us. And we thank you that you are much greater than just the buildings that we construct for you. And we thank you that we can meet with you everywhere, because you are everywhere. And we pray, Lord, that soon we will have fellowship together again, in the place that you give to us for that purpose. In Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good day today. God bless you.